In this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between some super towers and dedicated subwoofers. And do you need dedicated subwoofers if you have super towers? Um, I remember when I set up my home theater for the first time, I wanted to go with the super towers because I didn't wanna you know, spend the extra money. But I'm gonna show you what the difference is. I used my trusty our uh, mini DSP microphone ran some sweeps in REW and I'm going to show you exactly what the difference is objectively with real numbers. So hope you find it informative. Um, the quick answer is yes, it does make a huge difference and you'll, you'll see that. This is REW. Um, so let's take a measurement of just the PB3000s by themselves. So start, start frequency is 10 hertz, end is 200. This is all the way it should be. I'm going to take the measurement. Look at that. I mean, ideally you would get this within, within 5 dB. So you want this as flat as possible, but look at that. That's, this is the EQ that I did already, and that's as good as I could get it. There's a little valley here between, I guess, 40 and 70 hertz, but it's actually not too bad. Maybe from here to this peak, it's about 7 dB or so. So it's, that's as good as I could get it in my room. But that is pretty good, and see how it extends all the way. Maybe you're at like 90 dB and you're at um, that's gotta be about 16 hertz or so. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to move on and um, test the towers by themselves. Okay, so let's take a measurement of the tower speakers by themselves now. Same settings up here. Let's see what it does. Yep, as you can see, uh, vastly different. Big valley here, but it really peaks around 35 and then just drops off a cliff. And you can see the PB3000 is just, especially with the EQ that I did. Um, I'll probably take a screenshot of the EQ that I did or uh, or have it set in the app, in the SVS app, for each uh, sub. Um, it, I mean, I'm sure people could probably get it flatter than this, but this, again, knowing what I know and what I've seen people do, also I couldn't get this any higher. So now I guess what's left is let's put them together. I should mention that I should probably, I'm probably going to have to lower the gain in the behind of the, uh, in the, uh, behind the tower speakers um, so that it's a little so right now this is kind of over, overpowering the PB 3000s at the round at the same volume level so let's see what uh, what happens when I put them together so the results kind of show that super towers are great but PB 2000s are in a different league of base. Um, so next video, I'm going to be connecting. I'm going to be using a Y cable to actually connect uh, both the super towers and the PB 3000s. And I'm going to try to use REW and somehow get them to work together. So stay tuned and check that out. Thanks for watching.